This is the second video of a series of videos on sampling distributions and also the sampling distributions of the population proportion and population mean. And in this one what we want to focus on is what's called the distribution of a statistic. Now the distribution of a statistic answers the question what would happen if there were lots of samples taken? And the second thing is that, um, that we need to remember is, is that the distribution of a statistic depends upon the sample size and on the distribution of the population as a whole. So let's think about what we mean by that. So let's just take an example. right? Let's say you were looking at average income in the United States. All right, and what you did is you took a sample of 100 people, and let's say it was a random sample, and you asked, um, how much do you make? Now, if you took one sample, you would get an answer, and that would be X bar. That is the sample mean and that would be an estimate of the average income for the United States. Whether it was a good sample or not depend on how good your random sample is. Now, if you took another sample, you would get another estimate. So let's say the first, let's just make some numbers up here. Let's say the first time you took an answer of $51,000. And the second time you took it, you get an answer of 52312 and the third time you get an answer of 49,470. Well, you can imagine you could keep doing that. And if you kept doing that and doing that and doing that, what you would get is you would get um, an average of all the samples and also a spread because all these all differ. So what you can do is you can talk about the distribution of the statistic. And the way you think about that is you would get what would be called a mu x bar and a sigma x bar. And mu x bar would be the true mean of the estimator x bar. And sigma hat would be the true standard deviation of an x bar. In other words, you would get on average a certain value for x bar and a certain standard deviation for x bar if you repeated this over and over and over again. And a way to think about this is that any time that you run um, a sample, you can really think that there are three dis different distributions that go on that are interesting. The first one is what's the distribution of the population as a whole? The second is you take a single sample and you ask, well, what's the distribution within that single sample? But there's another distribution to think about that is that is if we took not just one sample but many samples, what would be the distribution of the statistic from many samples? And a way to think about that is let's again let's think about average income. There is a mu, that is, there is an average income in the United States. We might not know exactly what that is, but that exists. Then there's also an X bar for a single sample. That is, you can take a sample of 200 people or 100 people, and you can ask them what the money they make and take the average. But there's also an estimator X bar which has 
properties. And the properties would be on average, if you took a sample, what would you expect to get on average? And how close on average would you be to the average of all samples if you took them? So this finishes the second video. In the third video, we talk about properties of estimators.